One business owner in Apopka says he is getting rid of masks altogether. News Six's Amanda Castro joins us now live from Apopka. And Amanda, why did he decide to ditch the masks? Well, Ginger, he says he did this for his employees, saying that it's been tough for them to wear face masks for eight hours a day while working in the restaurants, adding that he knows his decision may not make everyone feel comfortable, but he says that this is a step towards life returning back to normal. This is a sight we haven't seen in more than a year. Waitresses at the Beefo Brady's in Apopka serving customers while not wearing a mask. Today, marking the first day, owner Ed Conlon says he's not requiring his employees to wear face coverings. Our employees have always worn a mask up until this point, where today we decided to you know, repeal the uh, decision for the employees you know, to wear a mask while in the dining room. Conlon owns three restaurants in the city, including a steakhouse and juice bar. He says he decided this week to ditch the masks after the governor issued an executive order suspending all COVID-19 restrictions put in place by local governments. He says customers don't have to wear masks either, adding employees and guests can still choose to wear a face covering if they want to. We understand individual responsibilities and decisions, uh, what they're all about. Conlon says about a quarter of his 40 employees are vaccinated, telling us he started an incentive program to encourage his staff to get the shot. Are you okay as a business owner if they're choosing not to get vaccinated and still serve guests? Absolutely, yeah, they're still welcome to you know do as they want. If they want to wear a mask, no problem. But, you know, my belief is that, you know, all employees and guests have had ample time to get vaccinated if they want to do so. So uh, it's up to them to, you know, project themselves how they see best fit. Conlon says if customers ask their server to wear a mask, they will do so, adding that the restaurants here are still offering curbside pickup and to go orders if people aren't very comfortable with dining in. Now we'll hear from a customer to get his thoughts on these changes. That's coming up in my story tonight at six o'clock. Reporting live in Apopka, I'm Amanda Castro getting results, News 6.